A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Gloomy Horse, An Enthusiast, Willie Davenport, and Vlad Tepish 3176 You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Ross are here with some more Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles Rondo of Blood. Now, you may notice that there is a really annoying grinding sound going on constantly in the background. Um, I'm really sorry about that. That would be my 3D printer. I am trying to print some interesting things. And it really does make a lot of noise at the end of the day, so I really am sorry about that. Unfortunately, noise gating it doesn't help a whole lot because then it just winds up cutting off everything I say. But, hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Okay, so last time, we defeated Dracula. And we got the worst possible ending, because we have saved exactly zero damsels in distress. Now, I'm not saying that I went out of my way to not save any of the damsels in distress, and howdy, Dre. Good to see you. Good to see you. But I am saying that maybe now that we've got the worst possible ending, now we should work our way up. And to that end, we are going to need to try to get a whole bunch of different alternate routes for all of these levels, of which I have done nearly none. So I guess the first thing we ought to do is try stage one. Now, I'm not saying that I remember exactly how to get the alternate endings and such in Stage 1, because it has been a long time since I played this game with any regularity. But maybe I can figure it out? Fingers crossed. We're off to a great start with me barely able to um, hit the right buttons in proper orders. Which is always what you want to see. Ah yes, the trickiest maiden. You know what, I'm going to grab this axe. I do enjoy the axe, but times. Alright. Let's see if we can find this Maiden. Not to be confused with Iron Maidan. Which is one of those delightful um, fantasy settings that you get out of anime. Whoa! Hey, Barrel. And then we got these guys. Always a problem. Best thing to do, I just hope they don't take out too much of your health. So how's it been going, Dre? You have been doing a shitload of really cool RPG Maker games lately. I am looking forward to getting caught up on them. And then I fell directly down the hole. See, now that seems embarrassing to the untrained eye, but actually, actually, I was testing the area. Take this, ape bot skeleton.
Yeah, I saw some screenshots from it, dude. I'm looking forward to watching it. You're so much more consistent at doing episodes than I am that I am way behind. I really need to get caught up on that. Let's see. This will no longer be wall meat, will it? Especially not if I keep falling down. Did I already find the stuff to the left? Ah, the wall meat is still there. Okay. Well then, in that case, to the right it is. Keep it this way. Oh yeah, yeah, because I fought the frickin' water thingy. Heck, I jumped right into that. Yeah, I swan to Pete. I should have put in soothing eye drops before I started this. I've got all of these freaking bright lights shooting right directly into my poor defenseless eyeballs. Probably shouldn't ought to have done that, but. Haha! -ha. See, that time I didn't jump, Mr. Stone Golem. Trick me once, shame on you. Trick me twice, shame on you a second time, and go fuck yourself. Trick me a third time, then I'm starting to catch on. Trick me a fourth time, shame on me. Is this guy even taking any damage at all? Okay, now I'm starting to wonder. He was not taking damage that entire time. Well, that was the fool me twice thing that I'd mentioned before. Fortunately, it has not yet gotten to the final time to which I should be fooled before I start feeling bad about myself. Hooray. Glad we cleared that up. Yay! Why, Vern? Because, Vern. Yeah, i tell you one damn thing. My poor defenseless jaw is still sore from getting my teeth drilled and rearranged the other day. The dentist did a great job but it took him like an hour to finally get me numb enough to where I wasn't like in horrendous soul crushing pain every time he tried to drill me. And believe me, I tried. I tried to ignore the pain every single time. Because that's just the kind of cool guy I am. I'm like, man, I don't want to get this anesthesiologist in trouble. But the long and short of it is that, even right now, the uh, fillings that I got about a year and a half ago are still just a little bit sore when I chew on them too hard, and I just got some new ones, so there should be completely miserable for at least another six to eight months. And the pose. I always like the pose. Okay. See? That's a thing. Question is... Is it any kind of thing that will help me out? See? We went from 26 to 29. Ah, yes. We definitely have more options available to us now. This is good. This is good. This is what we like to see. 
Okay. So now we can move on to stage two and try to get somewhere from there. Rockin'. Dre. That was a good call, man. That was a good call. What wasn't a good call was restarting that area because... See, now I have no axe. Which is a shame because an axe would have been super helpful. And not getting clocked in the face by these ravens would also have been super helpful. Can't all be winners, my friend. Not all of them. Hata. Oh goody, X Knights. Ugh. They're not the worst, but they're up there. Again, I swear, I really wish desperately that I had some soothing eye drops. That would really help me out. Oh hey, it's they've rolled out the red rotting gross carpet for me. How nice of them. That was certainly their intent. Whoops. And taking a shitload of damage for absolutely no good reason. Fuck you. Oh my god. I just suddenly started getting wrecked and I do not care for it. Seriously, Chandelier? Seriously? Why am I even acting incredulous? I knew that Chandelier was gonna fall. I knew that I should avoid getting hit by it, but it hit me anyway. Unaccounted because I am a moron. Now, let me take just a moment here. Seriously, fuck that lighting. Yes, I too blame my eyes. Hopefully this um, lighting won't be too blown out now, but holy shit, I could not see at all. I mean, that's not, that's, wait, 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 wait. I do not blame my eyesight for losing that last round. That was all me. That was just me being bad at playing. The eyesight thing is completely incidental to that. I do not want to blame the lighting or any of that shit for my bad playing. Because that would be lame. And I ain't gonna do that, friends. I ain't gonna do it. Now, I might blame the fact that I've been drinking for quite some time. That could, in fact, have something to do with it. And will, eventually. Given enough time. Given enough time and volume. There we go. That baited the old chandelier out of its hidey hole. Mecha lecha high, mecha hidey ho. Mecha lecha high, mecha johnny ho. A mecha lecha hola hecka johnny johnny hey! There's a Pee Wee's Playhouse reference that very few people will get. Or an Alfred's Playhouse reference if you want to get even more obscure than that. Maybe two people will get the latter. Maybe five people will get the former. But I'll take what I can get. I'll take anything I can get. Nostalgia is the best, man. The absolute best. Oh. Wait 
for it. Okay, if I recall correctly, this is a chance to get the first maiden. And I grab the key. Very necessary, that. I don't recall right offhand exactly where to take it. I may have needed to drop down. And again, maybe not. Again, it has been a very long time since I played the original game. So we'll see. Oh, on me. Yosh. Voller meeting. Alright, merman. These guys remind me of my buddies over there in the fish tank. So many delightful colors. Hey, what have we here? Huh? Are you alright? As if I didn't know. Most effective maiden, at least. If she were up your ass, you'd know. Well, she's not up my ass, so I don't know. So tell me. They know no such thing. And they will surely curse my hide. Give a damn if you've got a mystical AK-47. Get your ass back home. You're a child. You shouldn't be dealing with this shit. Richter is a grown-ass adult. It's funny because Maria is actually capable of the physical gameplay mechanic of running. And also sliding. Okay, well... Now all I have to do is beat the level and make sure that I save. Or lose and make sure I save. Yeah, one of the other. <laughs> that is it. Get ourselves some holy water. I honestly don't remember what this boss is after all this time. Man, I have played so many Castlevania games that they are blending together. But it looks like this should be the Demon Bat. Is it the Demon Bat? No. Oh. oh, you know what? This is the exact area in the original Castlevania, or it's a recreation thereof, where you fight the Demon Bat, but I guess I'm gonna take it one step farther. And fight? What do we fight? Oh shit! A badass werewolf! Hey, Screaming Fist, how's it going? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We are. Probably going to get wrecked by this werewolf at least once. Maybe twice. Three times? Very possibly. Now, given that information, 
I want you all to place your over-under bets. Having died once, what are your over-under bets for how many times it takes me to defeat this boss? Yes, Blanco Werewolf indeed. Now, I'm not going to have a Hydro Storm available. Or am I? Okay, Dragon Boots for at least one game over. Anyone else want to get in on this hot Vegas action? Not to be confused with Vega action, which is another Street Fighter 2 reference. You know, from back in the day when Street Fighter 2 was just on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and in the arcade, and I could follow the plot and I knew what the hell was going on with that series. Okay, two hot game overs. Thank you, Dre. I appreciate that. That actually does help quite a lot. Although, that information may have shot you both in the foot. So I've got two, we'll at least get one game overs before defeating the werewolf. And taking hits like that it's very likely that that will be the case. I'm not sure I can reduce my stream delay. I mean, I'm sure you can now, I just don't know exactly how it's done. Because back in my day, this stream delay was pretty much it. I mean, I didn't need Hydro Storm. All right. Now, we come to this level. This level sounds pretty badass. How are the audio levels? Can you hear this fantastic music? because I would love for everyone to be able to hear just the great soundtrack here. Yes, it probably is in the Twitch and OBS settings. Okay, cool. But it has literally been at least a year since I've changed any of these settings, so it might be a while before I get them completely sorted out. I did notice that there is a new version of OBS, but I did not download it just now because I was like, well, if I do that, it's going to be another 30, 45 minutes before I'll get to actually playing. And I wanted to play while my mo momentum was still up. Ah, see, that, that's what I was worried about. I was worried you guys couldn't hear the music. Let me pop that up just a hair so you can at least hear the music. Because the music is, you know, one of my favorite things about Castlevania. It doesn't have to be overpowering, but you'd like to at least hear it. Who wouldn't? Hey, it's Zero. Thank you, Zero. Good news, Zero. I'm not sucking balls. I'm making progress. 
Hooray! I'm doing the best. I'm being the best Castlevania player I can be. Oh ho ho! Ah, thank you, Screaming Fist. We got ourselves a bitty war. Thank you so very much. Okay. I sense some interesting enemies coming up. Please do not hit me with those bones, skeletons. Ooh, several measuring sticks for future projects. That sounds awesome. See, I've been in contact with Zero about his current projects, and I get what that means. I wasn't sure if he wanted to um, mention what the project was, but it looks like he's going with it. Zero has a really cool project lined up and I am looking forward to seeing how it goes. Medusa heads. It had to be Medusa heads. But hey. Fuck. I tried to jump over that. I tried, I tried to hit that floor and jump immediately. Oh, right. Now I remember during the original game, you fall down there once, you're on a different path, it's like, you going back, bye. So long, sucker. It's okay, Zero, because the project you have chosen for yourself is an incredibly noble goal, and I totally approve. In the bones. I need as many hearts as I can get. And there's one. You know what? Um. Hmm. I feel like an axe is going to. Ah, no. You know what? At the end of the day. The boomerang is going to help me out more, I'm sure, if I make it to the boss. And by gums, I'm going to try to make it to the boss. Not that I can guarantee it, not by a long shot, my friends. However, I can occasionally just toss the old Jesus orang and foe. Hope like hell that it works out. Oh, uh, originally, Screaming Fist, this was for the uh, TurboGrafx 16, but this particular version is the PSP remake. Before, I 100% of the TurboGrafx 16 version, but that was years ago. Which is why I'm doing the new one now. See, this is a much newer game. This came out in 2007. Which, in retrospect, it doesn't seem like 2007 is a very new game, but considering I've been playing video games since 1980 fucking 6, you know, basically the earliest I was able to cognizantly play video games and not shit myself. 2007 seems relatively recent. It's all about perspective, friend. Speaking of perspective, here's these damned flea men. Take that, flea man. Eat shit and or die, and I'll eat turkey and or not die. Ah, lovely. Oh yeah, angle cuts. Now zero, 
Eggle cuts are in fact very tricky. And I say that without irony. But what you need to get you, my friend, is a miter box. Back in the day when I was working for CNS doors, I had to use a miter box all the time. Oh shit. Damn you, Igor. And I'm on fire. And I'm getting repeatedly killed by Fleeman. Yes, a miter box. Um, you might need to look it up, but... Ah, oh, shit. But yeah, a miter box would be the perfect thing. Like, if you can get one, like, that's really inexpensive, you will not regret it. Axes, probably the best thing for me. I'll be yanking that. Man, it's nice to play a Castlevania game that doesn't have a time limit once in a while. And you guys realize. I am I have spent seven entire episodes of Castlevania 3 trying to beat that fucking block level with just Trevor and no other characters. I'm not going to subject you to that again. I might have to just flat out off screen that stuff. Because, God bless a fuzzy brown new cow, that is some horrendous pain right there. Oh, uh, the bugs follow you because, you know, they're moths and they go towards the light. And when there's no light, they just go towards whatever. It's just a neat little, as far as I know, it's just a neat little detail. Now I'm keeping the axe. Keeping the axe so that I can use it to pitch it at these godforsaken flea men. There you go, Dre. Very, very poignant. Alright, now, if you'll notice down there, we have something that I could collect if I had some, some way to get through that pillar back there. Okay, now I'm taking damage unnecessarily, and that is upsetting. So to the left of me, you'll see kind of like a record dealy and a bone pillar. Those were not in the original game. Those are things that you need to unlock in this game using various weapons and characters and whatnot. Which gives this, you know, more replayability if you haven't completely, um, I mean, even if you have completely played the original game. There's like extra stuff you can do in this one, which is neat. The Rosser approves. And boom. Awesome. Um, 
I have not played SteamWorld Big. I do believe I own a copy of SteamWorld High School. So, that's something that I could potentially do in the future. Alright, I'm out of access. Get through these bastards. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Now, it sounds here like we may be at a boss. And the reason I say that is because the music indicates that we're at a boss. And also, I just got a giant Jurassic fucking piece of pork. Always nice. Whew. Hello, friend. Uh, Screaming Fist, I actually beat the entire game, but I was only 25% of the way through because I got the worst ending with only one character. Hey, what the? Wait, 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 wait. Did that fucking skeleton just shun me by turning its back on me? I wasn't paying attention, but that skeleton was definitely facing me when the last time I was paying attention. Alright? I don't think that skeleton is giving me the proper respect that I deserve. This is troublesome. We're gonna have to contemplate this for a second. Contemplate. 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 Also, we're gonna take a quick episode break, and then I'll be back. So, give me just a second, and we'll be back. Alright. One moment, please, y'all. Until next time, this is your old pal, Rosser. Take a drink. Eyebrow, 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 eyebrow. 